Hey, how's everybody doing today? First thing I want to touch base on is I've been getting a few people asking me questions about the Razor chair, whether it's comfortable, what features it has. And I just figured I'd do a quick rundown on that so you see a front view of it. So it, it comes with this headpiece. It's kind of like a material type thing. I really don't like it. It kind of sticks out too far and it doesn't really match a chair because of the material it's made of. I would have preferred if they even put like a pleather one on it. But as far as features, let me run over some of those. It has a lower back support right here. There's a lever on the side that you pull and this pe that piece kind of like pops out, slides out. You lean up against it to push it back in. The armrest so they have a nice up and down feature. It's got another feature where you can turn the arm in and out. And it has a feature where you can slide it back and forth if you want it closer to you or a little bit wider. Don't mind the brackets. We're going to go on to the next video part of this one. I just wanted to give a quick rundown of the chair. I absolutely, it was one of the best investments I made was this chair. It's just incredibly comfortable. It's firm. It's not a mushy chair, so it won't lose its, its form over time and you end up tanking out on the bottom. You can see from the side how it works. What I'll do is sit in it and give a little example of, of the movement. So as you can see, it pretty much does all the same features as any other chair. It's just the material it's made out of is outstanding. It has like a heavy duty double stitched green thread with the Razor Gaiman insignia on it. And that's going to be it for about the chair. Um, for the people that did ask about it, like I said, it's it's a perfect example of really, really, really good craftsmanship thought went into it it'll be a chair and they've been running some good sales on it but it would be a chair that's going to last a long long time well worth the investment as far as i'm concerned because i was tired of spending a hundred dollars 120 dollars on cheap gaming chairs and the things were just like flattening out after a year so there you have it I'm going to cut it off here and we're going to go on to the next setup of the F16 throttle and the verbal base with the different grips that I have joysticks.